Hi guys, Jen here from Rain and Sense and Such and Be Scented. I am making vanilla. -y. It was requested for my holiday soaps. So it's a very, very simple soap. It's pretty much left uncolored because it does darken just a tiny bit to maybe a khaki color. And jojoba beads. And that's it. That's all that I put in it. So this video is going to be very short and sweet for you maybe 10 minutes if that let's get us some paper towels and I gotta hurry anyways because my husband's probably gonna call in like 10 minutes so that means like as soon as I get this soap done he'll be calling so oh I just made a mess whoopsies I'll clean that myself when I'm done. Get those big chunks broken up. Let's get this buzzed up. So it's got the clay and the oats and stuff in there. Okay, that's annoying. this poured in. Scrape, scrape. This does set up fast, this fragrance. That's why I don't really do anything. <laughs> This is my cream, and I might add a smidgen of titanium dioxide. I don't think it really will do much, but okay. okay let's grab my jojoba beans that I want to do. I think I generally always do green. So let's pour some of those in. I just think green's a pretty color. And it stands out where the soap kind of discolors. You still notice the green ones? For if you had like a, a light color color movie, you're not really gonna notice them. So in with our fragrance. See, it's pretty yellow. in there, Jen. <laughs> Smells wonderful. <laughs> Mold on my table. Beautiful soap. you guys just a second let this finish setting up and we'll texture the top okay that didn't take just a minute A 
little bit deeper up here. I learned this technique from Latosh in the soaping groups. She also has a YouTube channel. This is called um, Smocking. She's awesome at it. Um, gosh, please forgive me if I say this wrong, but I'm pretty sure her YouTube channel is Blue Kettle Soapworks. I learned from her how to do this. If you guys are interested, please go check her out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the cutting. Guys, we are back to cut vanilla. So let's get a little end slice cut off. Very simple soap. Not much happening. Other than the jojoba beads. And the textured top. That's about it. The top did turn out really pretty. I do like doing the textured tops. But only if the soap is the right consistency when I am ready. If I'm not ready or if I am um, if it's not ready when I am then it doesn't get textured. Or if it's really loose and I know it's going to take a while it doesn't get textured. Call me lazy but I got other things to do than to sit and wait on it to get the right consistency. Pretty green jojoba beads. Turned out good. Just like normal. One more soap to cut. Then I can get to pouring candles. Well, once the wax is ready, it's a melting. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.